Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to day 18 of our 31 day yoga challenge, yoga for everybody. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Day 18, wow, we are past the halfway point. I said that yesterday. It's a challenge, right? So what do you do with a challenge? Do you resist or do you lean into it? Today, we're gonna lean into it gently. So let's get started, let's practice together. Set up your child's pose. Whatever variation you like here. And right here, right now, take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. And you can notice, right? I kind of gave you an idea of what we're going to work on today. So you can notice if your thinking mind is already anticipating that, our imbalances, thinking about that, maybe worrying about that. Come on back to your breath. Maybe you're not thinking about our imbalances. Maybe you're thinking about the rest of your day, something that happened yesterday. Right, come on back to your breath. Allow yourself to be right here, right now. Any, any challenge that you encounter on your mat, off your mat, feel that you have the ability to meet that challenge with intentional breath, with strength and power and ease, with balance, basically. No, just scratch all of that, whatever. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. Now take your hands a little more forward, fingers spread wide, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, come on into your downward facing dog, and if it feels good, to take more time in child's pose, take more time in child's pose. If it feels good to add a little bit of movement in your downward dog, you can add in some movement. Feeling the movement of your breath. Set your gaze to one point or close your eyes. Take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. Take a big inhale here. Then a big exhale. Take one more deep breath in, fill up. Exhale lightly. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to stand. Reach your hands high, lift your heart, look up, go back. Hands to your heart, exhale. Set your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes. Set your feet, feel your feet, feel your breath, set an intention if you like. My intention is going to be, have some fun. Let's have some fun with this today. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, sweep your hands high, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to your mat, high push up. Forward and halfway down, low push up. You can drop your knees or come all the way down. Upward dog, a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Downward dog or child's pose. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Notice if you are anticipating either what's coming next in the practice or what's coming next in your day. Notice if you're worrying about it. Come on back to your breath. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Another big breath in here. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. All the way up to stand. Rise and reach. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Exhale. You can step or jump back. Upward dog. A big breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Let your heels soften a little bit here. Let your head hang down. 
soften into the practice. And, and then you have the balance. You have the balance of strength and softness. Take another deep breath in. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale all the way up. Rise and reach and lift. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Chaturanga. Low push up. Step or jump back. Upward dog. Take a deep breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Big breath in. Long breath out. A big inhale. And a full exhale. Take another deep breath in here. Fill up. Exhale lightly. Step or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise to stand. Lift up. You can even go back if you like. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And empty it out. Ha. <sighs> Another big inhale here. Exhale. Walk or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise up. Reach up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Pause here. Add a little more lift to your chest, to your heart. Come a little bit forward to the balls of your feet. Lengthen your spine. Take a big breath in. Fold forward. Exhale. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Set your feet. Bend your knees. Set your feet so they're even. Low belly draws in and up. Now, bring your hands to your heart. Sit your hips low. Heart stays high. Big inhale. Twist to your right. Left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. Feel even breath here. Your breath balanced and even. And even press through your hands. And lifting your chest. Lifting your heart. Keep your hands together or open up. Keep lifting your heart. Stay grounded through your heels. Now, you can stay here in this twist, or you can set up for your side crow. So as you set up for your side crow, sit your hips down towards your heels. Set your hands about shoulder width distance apart so your fingers are pointed towards the right side of the room. Pull your back elbow in. Lift your hips up, and then drop your right hip on your right elbow. Your right knee is on your left elbow. Maybe you lift your feet here. Right, still a little more lift to your chest, to your heart, wherever you are. Take a big inhale and then release. Come on out of it. Walk your feet about hips with distance apart. Peace fingers, hook your big toes. Halfway lift as you inhale. Lengthen and fold as you exhale. Let your head drop here. Maybe you more work with more of a rag doll. Take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. Whether you were in the twist or in the side crow, and sometimes you find yourself holding your breath in poses like that, even in a pose like this. <clears throat> so if you've lost your breath, come on back to it. A big breath in, then a long breath out. Release your toes, walk your feet wide, outer edges of your mat, and come on down into your malasana. You can stay higher, elbows on thighs, shoulders roll back, Lift your chest, lift your heart. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Now you can stay here or you can set it for your crow. Hands about shoulder width again. Feet back and closer together. So you want to get in, you want to get in tight. Elbows squeeze in, knees above elbows. If you're playing around with this and you're not ready to lift your feet, if you're a little afraid of lifting your feet, then lean into it. Literally lean into your hands. Start to tip forward. You don't have to lift your feet, but you can feel this shift into your hands. And keep lifting your chest. Keep lifting your heart, right? So always, always lifting up, always lifting up, always looking up. A big inhale. Now chaturanga. Step or jump back. Upward dog, a big breath in. Downward dog breath out. Take a big inhale. Open your mouth. Empty it out. Ha. Ah. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Sit down. Lift up. Set your feet. 
core engage, take a big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Warrior one, right foot steps forward. Come on up, find your footing, feel your foundation, feel grounded. So this is how you wanna feel. You wanna feel grounded and supported whether you are in your warrior one or you're in your side curl or your handstand, whether you're on your mat or off your mat moving through your day. Take a big inhale, exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. So we practice, right? We practice feeling grounded, feeling supported. We practice, yeah, leaning into what we're afraid of. Like just a little at a time. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale. Hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog. Inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. For me, recording these classes it used to be really scary. Not quite as scary now, but sometimes when I get on my mat to practice and to teach, yeah, it's a little scary. And so you lean into it. You lean into it one breath at a time. You do the best you can. One breath at a time. Take another big inhale here. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet, sit down, come on up. Draw your hands to your heart. Let's try this on the left side. Hips are low, heart high, big inhale. Twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. All right, so take your time. Notice if you're anticipating side curl on this side already. Don't get ahead of yourself. Feel that your feet are grounded here. Feel your hands connected to your heart. Feel your heart lift. Feel your steady breath. Hands can open up. Right hand reaching for the ground. Left hand for the sky. And you can stay in this twist. If you want to play around with side crow, get low. Hips towards your heels. Set your hands so your fingers are pointed towards the left side of the room. Hands a little bit closer than shoulder width. Pull your back elbow in. Lift your hips up. Your arms will straighten a little bit, but then as you bend your elbows, you can drop down onto your upper arms, onto your triceps. So your left knee on your left elbow, your left hip on your, nope, your left knee on your right elbow, your left hip on your left elbow. Take a big breath in and then release. Come on out of it, wherever you are. Now you're here, walk your feet about hips the distance apart and slide your hands under your feet for Padanastasana. Palms up, fingertips towards your heels. Halfway lift as you inhale. Lengthen and fold as you exhale. You can work with a rag doll here. You can work with a flat back. You can add a little bit of movement. You can work with your breath. Work with your body. You can even work with what you're afraid of. You don't have to focus on what you're afraid of. Focus on where you are, what you're doing, what you can do. Right, right here, you can take a big breath in. And a long breath out. <sighs> take your hands up from your feet. Walk your feet closer together to touch. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Come up, open out, warrior two. Find your footing here, front foot is flat and straight, bend into your front knee. Feel right to the tips of your fingers. Feel right to the crown of your head, so be really tall and upright here. Palms to the sky, right hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Find a place for your left hand that works for you. Take a big inhale. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one, rise up, open out. Warrior two. Add in some space between your feet. 
Add in some space between your toes. Notice if you're hanging on. Space between your ears and your shoulders. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. And you're adding this space into your day. Adding the space in for yourself so you can connect to your strength and your power. Spin your palms to the sky. Take your left hand high. Reverse your warrior. So you can face... Any challenge that you meet today with strength, but also with ease. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, a big inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Take another big inhale here. Exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Step up, rise up. Right foot is a little to your right. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale. Twist to your right. Left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. Ground through your front foot, especially the, the big toe side of the front foot. Now you're lengthening. You're twisting. You're still lifting. Separate your hands. Left hand reaching down. Right hand reaching up for the sky. You can stay here or you can set up for your arm balance here. Right hand comes down towards the ground. So you kind of have to walk your hands a little out and away from you, keeping that bend in your right knee. Just like you set up your side crow, your right elbow tucks in. Your right knee is above your front elbow. Your right hip is on your back elbow. And then you can start to lift up. Extend out through your legs. Chest is a little lower here. Core engaged. Wherever you are, breathe for three, two, and then release. Come on back up to your crescent lunge. Rise up, reach high, open out to your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, pivot your toes towards the side edge of your mat. Set your feet so they're parallel or pigeon-toed, interlace your fingers at your low back. Drop your knuckles down. Lift your chest, lift your heart. Take a big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Nice shoulder rinse here. Nice opportunity to drop your head. You can put a towel or strap between your hands if you like. And I usually close my eyes in a forward fold. I had them open the other night when I was practicing outside, and I was reminded that this is an inversion. Anytime you drop your head, it's like a, a headstand or a handstand. It's an inversion, and it's a great opportunity to shift your perspective, change the way... You look at things. Take a deep breath in here. And a big breath out. Once more, a big inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Here, come halfway up. Walk your hands towards your right toes. Pivot around towards the front edge of your mat. Bring your left knee down. Untuck your left toes, your kneeling lunge. Walk your hands to your front thigh. You can pad your left knee if you like. And if it works, take your hands up overhead. Lift your heart, bend into your front knee, soften your hips. You can take your gaze up, soften your toes, take a big inhale, and a big exhale. One more deep breath in here. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. Step back, high push up to low push up. Upward dog, a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Another deep breath in here. Exhale. Step or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. All the way up. Rise and reach. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Upward dog. A big breath in. Downward dog breath out. Left foot steps forward. Crescent lunge. Step up. Rise up. Left foot is a little to your left. Hands to your heart. Take a big inhale. Twist to your left. Right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. Connecting your hands. Connecting to your breath. And connecting to your intention. 
my intention was to have some fun. The practice, practice is serious. Doesn't mean you can't be lighthearted about it, especially when you start to play around with the arm balances. Now here, open up, right hand reaching down, pause, long spine, big breath, and then to set up for the arm balance, let that left hand come down, set your right hand in line with your left hand. So they're gonna be a little bit away from you. So you can start to lean into it, pull that back elbow in, right? Get your left knee above the front elbow, your hip above the back elbow. Might take a little adjusting. And then maybe you can lift off. Lift that back leg, extend through your legs. Feel if you can straighten. Keep lifting, take your time. Take a big inhale and then gently release. Come on back into your crescent lunge. Rise up, open out, warrior two. Here, straighten your front leg, pivot your toes towards the side of your mat. Let's do that shoulder rinse again. Maybe you switch the way you interlace your fingers. Knuckles drop down, heart lifts up. Take a big inhale, fold forward as you exhale. Take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. And I forgot to mention that that arm balance from Crescent Lunge, you can come into that from your side curl as well. Right? Just straightening your legs. So it's pretty much the same pose, just different ways into it. And there's always different ways into any pose. It's finding the, the best way in for you. Here, release your hands. Come halfway up, walk around, pivot around towards the front edge of your mat. Left foot flat, right knee drops, setting up your kneeling lunge. Walking your hands up to your front thigh, and if it works, take your hands up overhead. Sometimes it's finding really a different transition into a pose so that it works for you. Sometimes it's just enough to try a pose, the same pose on a different day, a different time, because your body is different, how you feel is different. Take a big breath in, then a long breath out. Another big inhale, exhale, hands down to your mat. Step back, high push up to low push up. Upward dog, take a full breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a really big inhale, and a big exhale. Once more, a deep breath in here, exhale, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. How about another crow, Vakasana? Coming from your halfway lift, right? set your hands shoulder width, bend your elbows, squeeze them in. Now you're pretty high, you're lifted already. Knees above elbows. I really like to get my knees into my armpits. Squeeze your elbows in, squeeze your knees in. You can lift one foot. You don't have to lift your feet, remember, right? But you can lean into this. Notice your breath. Notice if you're restricting your breath, really steady breath. Strong breath, a big inhale. Now, chaturanga, step or jump back. That wasn't the best transition, but that's okay. Back to your downward facing dog. Take a long inhale here. And a big exhale. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, step or jump your feet through your hands. Sit down, lie down. Come onto your back. Set your feet flat. And come on up for your bridge or your wheel. So whatever variation you like. Set your foundation. Big breath in. Big breath out. Set your foundation. Soften your toes. Feel if you can soften your face and your jaw. Keep lifting up, grounding down so you can lift up. And it works in a standing pose. It works in an arm balance. It works in life, grounding down so you can lift up. One more big inhale here. And then gently come on down, come onto your back. Soles of your feet together, knees to the sides for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a big breath in. 
Get a big breath out. Feeling grounded and supported. So that, yeah, when you find that you're afraid of something, you can begin, even just begin to lean into it. A lot of the times the fear, we create more fear in our heads. Maybe that's where, where most of the fear lies. And practicing strong breath, flexibility, adaptability, and cultivating a strong heart and a strong spirit. And draw your knees to your chest. Come on into your happy baby. You can grab your feet, your legs, or your toes. Nice long spine. Maybe a little bit of movement. Bring your knees back to your chest. Set your left foot flat on your mat. Take your right foot across your left thigh. So you're setting up your half pigeon variation. And if you like or prefer a traditional half pigeon here, go for it. Set that up. I was checking to see if I still had dirty feet. Because I've been outside a lot without my shoes on. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I had cleaned my feet or not. Let your toes soften. Let your face and your jaw soften. Allowing yourself to be here, be in your strength and your power, be at ease in your strength and your power. And often, that's the, the shift that we need to make when we're feeling a little afraid, is just allowing ourselves to soften so we can lean into whatever we're facing one breath at a time. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Here, release your hands. Slide your right knee over your left. So you wind up with eagle legs. Then take your arms out and then drop your knees over to your left for your twist. And you can work with any variation of the twist that you like here. Come back to center, unwrap your legs, draw your knees in, and set up your half pigeon variation on the other side. So your right foot flat, your left foot across your thigh. You can stay here or lift the leg. You can set up traditional half pigeon if you like. Breathing into the resistance, breathing into whatever comes up. Right, so you're softening instead of creating more unintentional resistance. Maybe little adjustments. Big breath in. Long breath out. Release your hands, slide your left knee over your right so you have your eagle leg, some variation of that, and then drop your knees over to your right for your twist. A 
back to center, unwrap, giving you a squeeze, and come on into your Shavasana. You can take your legs out, take them up, add in a variation that gives your low back a little more support, hands and arms alongside you. It's nice to spin your palms up, soften your shoulders down, feel where and how your body connects to the ground so you can soften into the support. Take a deep breath in. And a full exhale. <laughs> All right, you guys. Shavasana was a little interrupted. Draw your knees into your chest. Roll to one side and make your way up to seated. Draw your hands to your heart. Set your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes. Together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. I'm drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining me for practice today and for this challenge. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you on your mat tomorrow. Oh.